doing an unboxing of an MFJ Grandmaster SWR watt meter. Mainly want this for the watt meter function of it. I already got an SWR, I think it's a workman. <clears throat> but I guess two in one built in here. Um, I don't know what MFJ stands for. Yeah. Mother F and Jammin' Grandmaster. Eh. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> read a bunch of reviews online, seen a couple of videos on these on YouTube that other people did. But mainly in reviews, I've read a couple of reviews where they compared this to like the bird watt meter, just the, the industry standard of measuring wattage for a, what a, a CB radio is putting out. And this costs like seven, eight hundred dollars or more. I'd say that this is pretty close, especially with the dead key. But when it's good to measure like watt the swing, um, it usually starts, it usually falls short. Usually the bird reads higher than what this shows. But for dead key, I've read that this is pretty close. And plus, I just mainly want, you know, as long as it's close, and mainly I want to, when I'm making adjustments to the wattage on the CV, I want to be able to watch the needle move and see how much, you know, see what it's doing is mainly what I'll have it, I'll have it for. But, uh, box features. I guess this is the one you need for CB frequencies. I'm assuming that's what I've seen people use on regular citizen band radios was this one. Uh, I don't know. You pause the video if you want to read any of that stuff. You need a proper camera set up. I would spend some money on that. But, uh, First time unboxing it, first time looking at it. Said, uh, you need to pause the video for any of this. I'll read this later. I'm just getting it on the video for you. spend too much time on it but pause it if need be on one year warranty that's that it's a box yeah. oh excuse me Out to the front. Okay. Um, uh, I see the corners of that. There, it's this power cord. Can't connect us on the other end. Hold on. So you gotta solder it to something. What the hell? I guess, okay, that would plug in the back of that there. Guess you gotta make up your own end connect, whatever you wanna hook it up to it for 12 volt supply. Solder it up yourself. I'm pretty handy with a soldering iron, so. You need a 12 volt DC. So you need a 12 volt DC source for power. Transmitter. Stuxville City antenna. And yeah, I, I guess the, that power 
All that does is just lights up this back here so you can actually read the meter when it's low light. Which I'll probably be using this in lighted areas anyway, so that, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> it, this unit itself, the test, does not need power. I think to read like swing for like a watt meter with you know the swing of it, you need a powered source for your meter, and that's where this falls short. I guess it, it's pretty accurate for dead key, like I said, but you can set your SWRs with it, it's two and one, and then you can find out your wattage, what you're putting out. Uh, spect uh, video's coming, I got the President Bill 2, <clears throat> that I didn't get into the service menu and mess around, I'm gonna get in there, and <clears throat> got it out in my truck, I'll get into the menu, I'll make a video doing that of me messing around the PL setting, the power level setting, and see what it does some people say you raise that value more wattage some people say you lower it to get more wattage now, i've seen like two videos of people on a watt meter different radios uh, imagine all president radios would be the same you'd think i've seen it like it done on mckinley and some other i think a walker two which i have the walker three i'm going to test that one here too at some point but I'm gonna present the bills out in my truck outside my apartment building. You know, get to that probably later today. But yeah, there's that unboxing. And stay tuned. I'll have more videos of me using this. Later.